We like it. The one thing we like almost as much as having sex is talking about it. Well, I've put together the most bizarre collection of stories you've ever heard, and I will share them with my guest tonight, and we will gather valuable insight to some of the more bizarre things that go on between the sheets. Sex stories in the news, tonight on The Andy Troy Show. Starts now. about sex or something. Okay, uh, I'm going to introduce my panel of expert guests. We're going to start with the lovely and talented Mr. Tim Moss. <laughs> now Tim is an expert on sex because he almost had sex every night. He almost had sex last night. I almost He did. almost had sex the night before. Sometimes there's even other people involved, isn't that right? Tim? Yes, yes, absolutely. And it's hit or miss with me. <laughs> okay, well, before we continue, we must pay Tim his props because he recently lost a little weight, uh, didn't you, Tim? How much did you lose? Actually, almost 100 pounds. Woo! <laughs> Tim has a picture here of himself with his, uh, his old pants. So when someone wanted to get into Tim's pants, they used to be able to bring three friends. Yes. <laughs> and now we both fit in my pants. <laughs> okay, uh, very nice. Uh, we are now going to move on to an old friend of Tim's who I'm meeting for the first time, Ms. Lola That sounds very fucking creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Is Lola it creepy Bastinata. that you've known him a long time or creepy that you're meeting me? More so you, because ah, I'm used to Tim. A lot of I'm people used feel to that. Tim. I'm used to him. Okay. And, you know, like, the show tune You'll be everything. used by me soon, too. So, so. Okay, fantastic. Thank uh, you for having me. So you're a media personality. You hosted, I believe, some sort of TV or radio show or something? Yes, I'm uh, one of the sex educators for Playboy TV and Playboy Radio. Right. Um, I work on a show called Foursomes, where I give sex advice. Um, and that's what I do. I talk about sex all day long. Well, there are some people <laughs> here on these pages who could probably use your help. So we'll see <laughs> what insight you can offer them. Right. And uh, I believe you also have some kind of events. I think I saw on your website. I you can do. hold back, tease people with that because before we start our second segment, everyone's going to talk about what they have coming up. That sounds, again, dirty. Yes. <laughs> well, this is actually a heat-seeking missile. Uh, Fallon, our, one of our producers, created this tonight, and it seems to point towards various points of ver uh, on its own. So. Is that like an origami penis? Yeah. That, is. that is. And it was her yes. first time doing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a Fallon symbol. I say I'm rather <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can enjoy that if you like. Uh, any practice you'd like to do? I might just later. wipe my mouth with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't be the first time, wouldn't it? <laughs> no. Okay, and um, not last, but certainly not least, the infamous, famous, who the hell are you? Oh, uh, yeah. Tara Tiara, who is a comedian, I believe? Yes. Who does yes. jokes about sex? Yes. All my jokes are about sex. And uh, you used to be an escort at one time, wasn't that yeah, true? Yeah, about five years ago, so I recently retired. What was, uh, what was that? In New York City, an escort, what was that yeah. like? Speak into the microphone. Um, Get a little closer to the, uh, whatever. To the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed being an escort. I got to learn a lot about men and about sex and... Was any of it good news? You know, I have to admire that in the sense because I would be a very lazy hooker. <laughs> I would be like, fuck yourself. <laughs> Honestly, like, I, I'm not very good at people telling me what to do. So when it comes to something like very service oriented like that, it takes a certain type of person. To service yeah. other people. Yeah, because you don't want to call up a bitch and her say, hey, fuck yourself. <laughs> no, I want to get my bang for my buck, so to speak. Exactly. You definitely do figure out ways to um, elongate the hour. Or <laughs> elongation. <laughs> elongate the hour, or to elongate um, him not touching you for a while. So what do you do to elongate the hour, though? I mean, you do a lot of massages, and you put him on his stomach, and you sit on oh. his back, and then you do and a she lot watches of television. massages. Sounds like wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. And, and so you do you do that. That can usually. Um, I can get a woman to time. sit on my back cheaper. 
No, but you're, you're doing nice sensual massage. Fallon, 20 bucks an hour. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we want to get down to business because I got some good stuff here. For our first story, we are traveling to China. Because they got a billion people there, so they got to know something about sex, right? Yeah, there's some crazy shit over there. So, um,. Somebody in China is is digging a well, okay. and they discover what they think Wait, is a. Wait, but is it all the way to China? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. There's already New Jersey. I know. Right? Okay, sorry. So this guy in Jersey is digging a well. Okay. Comes out of China. No, uh, this is actually in China. I got a city here, I think. Lu Chumbu. It's a, it's a village. It's a village in China. And this is a real story. And they discover what they think is a new species of mushroom. Like and a psychedelic mushroom? It's just a mushroom. Because I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they discover a new species of mushroom, and they're very excited because they got a lot of mouths to feed over there. Okay. So they call that a whole news crew. I've actually seen the video of this news report. The only problem is they eventually realize that what they have found is not a mushroom at all, but someone had buried a sex toy. Oh. Oh. They didn't know that it was alive. Alive? What kind of sex toys do you use? I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming it's like the top of the sex toy they, they found. They found this mushroom, mushroom thing. Oh. What it actually was, was an artificial vagina. Ooh. And okay. so, wait, wait. so even though it was a used sex toy, so even though it wasn't a mushroom, there was like, some fungus like involved. So there was still some stuff inside, so that's how they knew it was used? Um... I, I don't know. Maybe they. So, like something like a flashlight. Is that what they're like? They're I'm not as about? experienced with this tip. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway. Yeah, ask the gay man about vagina, please. <laughs> so, so the flashlight is actually a contraption. It's actually shaped like a flashlight, but you can get different types of heads, like where it's a mouth, what type of head oh, can I I vagina, oh, okay. I know which vampire one. teeth, like whatever. Like vampire whatever. teeth. But it's made out of a, it's made out of silicone, and so like when you are, it's like when you play with it and like you put lube in it, it gives you the feel of like a real vagina, because some of them are like contoured, they're rippled, mm. you know, depending on like what kind of stimuli you're looking for. So that's by a company called Flesh, and they're very, very famous. So I was wondering if it's something like that, or if it's just like a piece of like plastic that's shaped like, like a giant. We're going to forward you the new story to speak Chinese. <laughs> I don't know. I'm very, I'm very. Well, I, I still don't understand how they did not know the difference between a plastic or whatever between <laughs> biological life. What kind of mushrooms do they have in China? Right. Yeah. Like, how old are those mushrooms, or how like how much do they smell like plastic? You should talk to them. But the important is thing Japanese? is, but the important what? thing what? is, she's talking. She's talking. If they knew uh, more about Japanese. sex, they could yeah. control the population. But That's the important thing yeah. is, did they get high from it? <laughs> yeah, that's what From the mushroom. Well, actually, my question for you, Tim, is: Have you ever buried a sex toy, and if so, in who? <laughs> <laughs> my mind is just going. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Clara, in your work uh -huh. as a uh, as a sex worker, so to speak, uh -huh. did you use any outboard equipment? Were you while you were sitting on this guy's back? Was anything ever involved? No, I didn't. I don't really like a lot of toys. I you just don't. like to do the the all natural. So no, I never really used any sex toys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's an acceptable answer. So I think we've covered. The artificial vagina fully. <laughs> and mushrooms. Besides, in why would China. they why would they do a sex toy if you have the real vagina? Why would you do the artificial vagina? Well, and there's like half a billion real so, vaginas over there too. Yeah, but sometimes you want to masturbate, you know, like by yourself. You don't want an audience. No, I mean uh, you know, sometimes the guy is on the road. Do you know what I mean? You need a little winky winky. You know, you, you don't need a you don't need a bunch of people around. But I'm just wondering whether I was doing it as whether you would use them. But if I'm coming over, then he doesn't yeah, really they didn't need the sex it. toy. I'm I don't know. Some people already. might want to, you know, work some other stuff into the. Did you ever have a really kinky call? Like, yeah. come over dressed as a schoolgirl and like that. Build a bathtub with Jello. Yeah, some of the rolling stuff. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of the. the what was what was the most bizarre one? I'm sorry. I'm interested. What was the most bizarre one that you encountered? <clears throat> of what? Just sex toys? Well, just like of a call that. What's the weirdest thing anybody asked you to do? Okay, you guys might think something different. Okay, but 
to me, the Is weirdest like thing. <laughs> no, 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 you guys are thinking like sexy, but to me, the weirdest shit that ever happened to me, there was this guy called Weirdo Roy, and he was into sucking teeth. To where you wanted to suck teeth? your teeth? Yeah, or you own? as the girl had to go like this. I was gonna say, how do you suck your uh -huh. teeth? And then he would lick and suck your teeth like, like that. That to me kind of turned me on, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, that to me was the grossest and the most disgusting because at first that was very intimate, yeah. Yeah, at first I was like, okay, I'll did just you have, like, to, eat like have, a, did you have to eat like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich first? No, or? what was weird was that he had a horrible breath. Okay. <laughs> so he was like all up like this, right? And just breathing Her into my fine, nose, by the way. and I was just like, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever done. That's right. But up I hung out for 10 minutes. I, I like clocked myself. I was like, okay, I'm going to give him 10 minutes. Did he give him a minutes. discount? Like 10 minutes will give you one sixth of the price of no, an hour? No, he wanted a half hour. He wanted a half hour. I was like, no, 10 minutes. 10 minutes in. Okay. 10 minutes. But that was the weirdest type of sexual See, because I would have been, fuck you, suck your own teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then okay. I would have gotten a call back. But at the end of it, he wanted, he asked me, he goes, do you, will you like pull out my teeth for an extra hundred? I was like, now see, I'm a sadist, um, and be like, hell yeah, give me your credit. <laughs> 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 Carol would be running up a bill with him, like, the night was over. Yeah, no. There would be organs laying all over the table. Okay, right. I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't I, I have more ground to cover, so. That's like, way. Too well, just one, one quick yes, thing on the, good. on the vagina buried in China. Right. Why was it? Why would somebody bury it there in the first place? Did it? Like I think it's home? probably not <laughs> acceptable to the society to have sex toys. So they have to get rid of it the in some way that something. right. The vagina police. Asians are very kinky. They really yes. are, and I'm just yes. not, I'm not saying that because I'm part Asian, but uh, <laughs> no. But seriously, the yeah, even in Japan, they're like they have like mm -hmm. vending machines where they sell used panties. <laughs> yeah, they take yeah. them. They take them. Yeah. 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 Ye
her vagina locked up, and they couldn't be separated. Oh. It dried up. Oh, my God. oh, I don't dried up. It just kind of the muscles seized. I've had a vagina for forty years. It doesn't do that. <laughs> this is a true story. Yeah, um, no, my vagina is real. I'm telling you. <laughs> like it, it just doesn't like it doesn't just like auto clamp and not let the dude right. go. Maybe it's an epileptic. That's too bad. No. Like, well, oh, possibly it could be yeah. epileptic. The reality is epileptic vagina. <laughs> the reality is they there was some drug involvement, and uh, uh, they gave. The woman some muscle relaxants, <gasps> okay. and uh, they were able to separate the pair, and then they busted the two of them on drug charges. <laughs> that was. How uh, can they bust them on drug charges if they gave them the drugs? Though? Not that yeah. those drugs, for the drugs that cause a woman's vagina to lock up. I was going to say that's counterproductive. Like I don't get lock up. I, I need to know, know that. <laughs> Are you planning a party? No, I'm saying I do different drugs, and I don't, I don't You know what? I want to make sure my vagina doesn't lie. She uses drugs. This is very good for the next story. What the hell? We're How moving right it, into which, it. Which drug works up the vagina? A study I came out. I would say meth. Meth? What meth? Yeah, because Why? meth does um, give you, like, cramps, like, in your legs mm. and stuff like that. Oh. So if you think about it, it would give you, you know, like, your mm -hmm. other... So then, what's the vagina cramps? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> vitamin that your your cramps. And you need cramp potassium. You so potassium. if you're doing yeah. meth, take a bushel of so potassium. Yeah. So if you're not yeah. doing yeah. meth, potassium. Speaking yeah. of her, yeah. speaking yeah. of her drug use, okay. you might want to rethink this, okay. because according to research by Dr. Julie Holland, so okay. sort of doctor. a real doctor, smoking weed dries out your vagina. <laughs> oh no, I've been smoking weed all my life. Yeah. My <laughs> vagina <laughs> is fruitful and plenty. Let me tell you. Yeah, I you guess, falls you could be a fun <laughs> thing. <laughs> Listen to the gay man, you know. <laughs> but uh, the end result of this, a tip for guys, if they say that if your vagina is dry, your mouth is probably or your your mouth is dry, your vagina is probably dry too. So if a guy sees a woman licking her lips, he might want to consider some lube. Or she could just be a whore. They should always <laughs> We have to consider all the options. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. We're now moving on to my favorite uh, story of the day, I think. Because according to research done at the State University of New York, giving head improves a woman's health. Sure, why not? I think it might, <laughs> might improve the, um, the muscle structure in the face so you don't get less wrinkles. You know, because you that. Additional, I'm going to write this yeah, out. So and protein is right. good for yeah. Do you see any? Do you see any pimples on this face? Well, it goes deeper than this. Makes a great facial. I don't know why they don't have it. On a chemical level. The offer is there. They apparently this is from the State University, and they polled the student body, so to speak. Okay. And they found that seminal fluid contains chemicals that elevate the mood increase affection, okay. and induce sleep. Okay. So girls, okay. don't give head and drive. It also says, <laughs> 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 there are a lot of censored in the desert it could work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, snoring during oral sex is not as appealing as you might think. 